One of the things with RKC kettlebell training that I find is lacking sometimes is the use of your upper back in terms of development because there's not a lot of rowing exercises and in the RKC2 we kind of test for the pull up or we used to test for the pull up but it's taught so pulling exercises are, are not as common. The way we solve that is by using something that's called a high pull which is almost like a transition exercise into a snatch. So with the high pull what you're going to focus on again is using that float in the bell from your swing and then just almost guiding it up so that your elbow kind of floats up and you're squeezing your shoulder blade as you pull back. So I'm going to show you, I'll give you an example of a high pull and then we'll talk about a, some cues to kind of help you perform it properly. So I'm going to set myself up as if I'm about to swing and you may want to do a couple of pre-swings before you perform this exercise. So setting myself up for the swing and from here we're going to hike pass it through, swing and drive that bell up. And I'm literally just guiding the bell up. And I'm literally just guiding the bell up, allowing it to float, and then I'm kind of pulling with my upper back to finish. Now, one of the things with this exercise is you really want to make sure that you're not goosing or ducking your neck out. So you don't want to finish in such a way where your head is coming forward. You've got to maintain proper alignment. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that you're straight up, you're not leaning back as well. So that's one of the better upper back exercises that you can combine into your ballistic kettlebell training. I'm Chris Lopez from kettlebellworkouts.com, and make sure you head over to the site and download your free kettlebell workout.